we have a new report today. This is coming in from Fred Rowe. He's the owner of Sierra Bright Dot, and this is on the Owens River and Hot Creek. Hello, I'm Fred Rowe from Sierra Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I've been teaching guiding, riding, and lecturing on fly fishing since 1982 in the Eastern Sierras. Well, let's get to this week's fly fishing report. Well, wind is still kind of a problem. Typical Eastern Sierra spring, weather's changing almost daily, and wind has really been the demise of the fly fishing. When the wind's not there, fishing's great. When the wind's there, we're battling it because it's not just a little breeze, but it's blowing and blowing really hard. All right, let's start with the Upper Owens River. Cutthroats are in the system, and that's what everybody's looking for during the month of May. Those fish should last through about Memorial Day. And they're running between 18 and 22 inches, three to five pounds. Cutthroats are really fun to catch. When they're up in the river, they really fight well. We're fishing with um, bigger flies for them, along with egg patterns and worms. I like using size 12 stoner nymphs and size 12 green gold prince nymphs. Hi, right, over to Hot Creek. In the interpretive site, it's a little tough fishing right now because there isn't much going on in the way of a hatch. So guys are fishing with nymphs or streamers in there. Streamers is something people don't think of using in the spring creek, but quite often produces some of the biggest fish. I like like size six olive matukas or olive woolly buggers. And I know some guys that are fishing with perch patterns, um, particularly balanced perch in there. Down in the canyon, Lots of fishing pressure. Guys are fishing with um, nymphs, either under an indicator, or I prefer to fish under a dry fly. Size 18 or 20 pheasant tail nymphs in the beadhead flashback version, and then nymphs um, of midges in tiger and zebra midges are what's producing the fish in there. All right, let's head down the hill to Lower Owens River. It's flowing at around 175 CFS and it's stabilized and it's fishing really good right now. We're nymphing in there. There's some hatching going on, but not enough to really bring the fish up to the surface consistently. So what I'm fishing with is the Euro nymph rod and we're doing really well using an olive quildagon in a size 16, size 12 stoner nymph and a size 16 Patano nymph. Then under the indicator, we're using pheasant tail nymphs with the beadhead flashback version. And we're also using the um, nymphs in there of the midges, zebra and tiger midges in size 18 or 20. And then late afternoon, there's been a little of, bit of a PMD hatch. So we're using a size 16 beadhead flashback gold ripped hairs there to imitate those and doing good with that. Okay, over to Bishop Creek Canal. Well, they stocked it right before opener and pretty much all those fish are gone. What we're seeing now are pretty much the wild brown trout in there. And we got a brown trout over the weekend that had a three, four inch crayfish in its stomach. So we know they're feeding on some pretty big stuff. But again, I'm fishing beadhead flashback, pheasant tail nymphs in a size 18 and a size 60, gold ribbed hairs there in there. Well, that's this week's fly fishing report brought to you by Sierra Bright Dot Fly Fishing Guide Service. I can be found on Facebook and on Instagram or on my webpage at sierrabrightdot.com. And that was Fred Rowe. He's the owner of Sierra Bright Dot, and he guides up in the Eastern Sierra and is a great resource for information like the Owens and Hot Creek. So let us know, and we'll put you in contact with him, and we'll see you right here next time on The Backcast. <laughs>